In internet culture, a lurker is typically a member of an online community, or PLN, who observes but does not actively participate. The exact definition depends on context. Lurkers make up a large proportion of all users in online communities. Lurkers allow users to learn the conventions of an online community before they actively participate, improving their, social, their socialization when they eventually de-lurk. However, a lack of social content while lurking sometimes causes loneliness or apathy among lurkers. Lurkers are referred to using many names, including browsers, read-only participants, non-public participants, legitimate peripheral participants, or vicarious learners. Since the beginning of computer-mediated communication, lurking has been a concern for community members. The term lurk can be traced back to when it was used during the 14th century. The word referred to someone who would hide in concealment, often for an evil purpose. In the mid-1980s, the word started to be applied to the internet when bulletin board systems became popular. The bulletin boards were accessed through a single phone line that users would call to upload files and post comments to share with the community. It was expected that those using the system and consuming resources would contribute. Because lurkers would keep the phone line busy for extended periods of time without contributing anything, they were often viewed negatively and would be barred by the system operator who managed the BBS. Today, lurkers are viewed both positively and negatively. In many communities, lurkers are still seen as free riders. They are perceived as a drain on the public goods since they take without giving back. However, some communities actively encourage newbies to lurk. By lurking, newbies can learn more about the culture of the community, understand the community's social norms, and become familiar with the key members of the community. Lurkers are also viewed positively in present day communities because they provide an audience for the mass media. The presence of lurkers is often the justification for receiving advertising support. Lurkers are often hard to track in computer-mediated communities. Because they are not posting and mostly just read content, they leave behind few traces that can be tracked. In open source project communities, it is estimated that at any point in time, 50 to 90% of the community may be lurkers. Depending on the community, this may be consistent with the 90 to 9 to 1 principle. Rationale. Lurkers lurk rather than participate for a variety of reasons. A majority of lurkers profess that they lurk simply because they think that browsing is enough for them. Users also choose to lurk in order to find examples to follow when they decide to participate, avoid making redundant posts or contributions, and learn more about the topics of conversation. <clears throat> a lurker's need to learn about the community before contributing also explains why almost twice as many users lurk on technical support communities where more information is required to post as compared to health support communities. Researchers have shown that different motivations underlie reading, contributing and moderating web forums. Pure lurkers more often are motivated by the fact that the community is the only place to find a certain kind of content, while moderators and contributors are motivated either by duty of by either duty or feelings of attachment. Potential benefits. Lurking behavior provides some benefits to users. Mo and Coulson found that lurkers on an, on an online support group for HIV AIDS did not differ from active posts posters in their levels of care, self-efficacy, optimism, depression, and loneliness. They also found that lurkers felt more energetic than active posters. In a study that addressed lurking in e-learning, scholars found evidence that lurking is a helpful type of participation in online courses. Students said that the most common reasons they lurked before posting were to discover a message to reply to, to identify a model to adopt, to bypass providing a similar reply, and to acquire knowledge regarding the topic. Students in this study also expressed that they came back to read posts on online course discussion boards in order to check whether others had responded to their posts or to review a previous concept. One reason lurkers lurk is the need to learn more about the group. In interviews, lurkers claim a lack of understanding of the community as a reason for not posting. Lurkers often take the time before posting to evaluate the group for how well it is a fit for them. Lurkers learn more about the individuals in the group, the dialogue styles, the implicit norms, and explicit policies. In the interviews, lurkers mentioned that this was their preferred method so they could avoid making a mistake and be rejected by the group. To determine if the group is a good fit and to learn more about the norms, lurkers will read most, if not all, of the posts. By reading the posts, lurkers develop a better understanding about the topics being discussed and if this is a good fit for them.
Locals will also examine email addresses and signatures with associated websites to get a better understanding of other members of the group. By taking these steps, the locals gain more cultural capital. Sorica and Raffaele define cultural capital as the knowledge that enables an individual to interpret various cultural codes. The cultural capital is the knowledge of the norms of the community. A loca can gain this cultural capital in a community just by spending a lot of time in it. A person that has more cultural capital will benefit more from the community. Sorica and Raffaele found that people that lurk longer before posting had greater levels of cultural capital. By reading the messages in the community, a person becomes more familiar with that community's norms. I feel like they just said the same thing like five different times. Benefits for others. In their study on interactive mailing lists, Takahashi, Fujimoto, and Yamasaki demonstrated that active lurkers, or individuals who spread content from an online group to individuals external to the online group, help spread beneficial information to surrounding communities. Lurkers can also develop stores of valuable knowledge as they lurk, which may be helpful later should they decide to contribute. For example, users in open source software communities can quickly discover the answers to common problems, making them more likely to contribute answers later. If they have already had a question answered, they are even more likely to de-lurk and reciprocate. These behaviours form the backbone of open source technical support. Lurkers can also help reduce the burden on communities. A person who may have a question for a community may be better served searching for the answer than ser uh, may be better served searching for the answer than forcing community members to expend effort to see and respond to their query. In the case of open, so uh, open source project communities, the vast majority of questions have already been asked and answered in the community, making any repeated questions a wasted work. Pragmatically, lurkers can also re provide revenue for communities. They access pages generating advertising re revenue as they lurk. Potential costs. Lurkers experience less belonging in a community compared to regular contributors. They are less satisfied and experience more distractions. This means that lurkers are predisposed to leave before making a contribution because they lack the motivation that, that belonging and satisfaction bring. Hey. Hey, dude. Um, uh, what are you up to? Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually videoing. I'm reading out the Wikipedia page for lurking. For a lurker. Wait, what's, what's that? I'm reading out like a Wikipedia page for lurkers in like online communities. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, we're videoing right now. Uh, oh, great. Um, but uh, yeah, so you're at home? No, I'm at the con. I've got a rehearsal until like seven. Then I'm going to Maddie's house. Oh, okay. What are you up to? Uh, so yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just at the. I'm just, there's like a social at Mass. Oh, true. Uh, so just like two drinks and I'm going to go to Free Leaves. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, uh, enjoy that. Let's let's shoot uh, the vid soon. Huh? Let's shoot the 2K soon. Yeah, yeah, 2K. Yes. Up. Um, when, yeah, when, yeah. I'll, just I'll let you know. Because I'm kind of, you're the busy one. Um... I'm sure. I'm sure you can pencil me in, somewhere. I, <laughs> yeah, I'll be able to. Pe yeah, I can. I can probably. Sort out but just little. pencil, just like so that you can erase if need be. <laughs> because no, sometimes shit comes up. Um, look, that's a good. I got to shit to upload. It's true, and I'm making more videos. As well. Um, yeah. let me look. Honestly, I'll get my diary out right now, and we can flesh right. this out. Um. And I'll pen it in. <laughs> pen it in, yeah. If you can pen me, if you can pen me in somewhere, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be ideal. Um, fuck. What about? <laughs> I could do Friday. <laughs> I could do next Friday. <laughs> All right. Um, that's, um, that's like today, next week. Jesus Christ. Well, may busy, well, maybe, maybe like, <laughs> maybe like Monday night. Oh, actually no, man, Monday night. Let's do late, like late-ish Monday night. Does that work? Uh, um, late-ish. Like what time? Well, I'm doing something like near the con until I think I'm done at like seven or seven thirty in the city. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah actually. I could Actually, and I'll be in a suit already. I'll be in, like... I'm playing at Encore. Alex Jones got into Encore, so I'm playing... 
with him. What? You know that. You know that concert encore. Um, it's like HSC no. music. Oh, and right, so yeah, and yeah. Alex Jones got into it, so I'm playing with him at the Opera House on that night. Oh, that's awesome. But like I'll be I'll be in in like a suit, so <laughs> oh, we should, I, I, that's ideal. I can come straight to your house. Wait. Like that's on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Alright. Uh, um. Yeah. Okay. That should be alright. Perfect. I all can't. Right. I won't be able to do like hunk and all that though. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. That was just. That was more of a conceptual so, idea, anyway. I guess. But. On Tuesday, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go around like a. Yeah. 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 Um, Sounds right. good. I can probably do Monday. Alright, great. I've penned it in. Great. I've penned it in. Cool. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. Yeah, you too, man. See yeah, ya. see ya. Oh. Sorry about that. It's just a little uh, business call. Um, where were we? Lurking. We're talking lurking. Um, yeah, okay. Potential costs. Lurkers experience less belonging in a community compared to regular contributors. They are less satisfied and experience more distractions. This means that lurkers are predisposed to leave before making a contribution because they like the motivation that belonging and satisfaction bring. In the case of social networking websites, lurkers experience less intimacy and personal well-being. Lurkers on Facebook, for instance, can experience loneliness as they watch other, more social members of the community participate. Lurkers can also negatively influence other community members. If community members can see that someone is lurking rather than participating, they may feel that they are being spied upon. <laughs> lurkers might also take pieces of content featured in communities without seeking consent, violating the rules of the community. As a result, while individuals in online communities may feel that they are experiencing private interactions, a lurker may see it as a public space for observation due to their reduced feelings of belonging. This can become quite extreme in more intimate communities such as chat rooms where lurkers are more obvious. Hudson and Bruckman entered IRC chat rooms as experimenters and either posted a message saying they were logging the chat, an opt-in message for logging, an opt-out message, or nothing at all. 63.3% of chat rooms kicked out the experiments after they gave any sort of message demonstrating a, dic a dislike. Sorry. I sh I, yeah, I'm going to say it again. Hudson and Brookman entered IRC chat rooms as experimenters and p either posted a message either stating that they were logging the chat or posting an opt-in message for logging and opt-out message or nothing at all. 63.3% of chat rooms kicked them out after they gave any sort of message demonstrating a dislike of explicit chat logging. However, 29% of rooms kicked out the experiments even though they didn't post anything, showing a disregard for lurkers. Lurking is one form of free writing that can happen within an internet community and is similar to asking questions without responding or gathering information without distributing it. Lurking is seen as, as undesirable to communities because of the risk free riding can have on the community if every member does it. A public good is something that is impossible to exclude someone from and has a joint supply within the community. An internet community is seen as a public good because it is a pool of data to which many people, if they choose, separately contribute information. The survival of the community is then dependent on the contributions of the members. Since it is impossible to exclude members from sharing in the benefit of the public good, people are more motivated to free ride on the work of the other members and not contribute themselves. As a, group grows in side, uh, huh, as a group grows in size, the likelihood of free riding increases. Individuals are less likely to contribute if they do not view their contribution as making a visible difference and if they expect the other members to provide enough content to reach the desired effect. A lurker may withhold information because when they contribute, it benefits everyone in the community except for themselves. When everyone then chooses to withhold information, the collective benefit is no longer produced. With more people free riding, it is more difficult to produce useful information and interactions among the group members. The group will then not have enough resources to attract new members and retain current members. Lurking can also cost site holders money if they do not use advertising to generate revenue. The bandwidth costs of lurkers visiting a site may outstrip the value that donors or contributors provide to the community. Different factors in the community can influence the lurking behaviour within that community. The amount of lurking within a community is correlated with the topic of the community, the size and the amount of traffic within the community. The number of lurkers is nearly double in technical support groups compared to health support groups. The nature of the topic may be responsible for the difference in the number of lurkers. 
The number of members in the community can also affect the amount of lurking that takes place as the number of members in a group rises. So, as the number of members... Fuck, man. The number of members in the community can also affect the amount of lurking that takes place. As the number of members in a group rises, the percentage of lurkers also rise. Within a given group size, the groups with high traffic tend to have a low percentage of lurkers. When lurkers decide to participate more actively in the community, they de they de lurk, which Raffaele, Rabbit, and Soroka define as transfer from passive participation, only visiting the forum to read, to active participation, actively posting opinions and thoughts on the forum. In a series of studies investigating how newcomers learn the rules and habits of good users in four types of Usenet groups, health support, political issues, hobby, and technical groups, Burke, Kraut, and Joyce found correlational and experimental evidence that group-oriented membership claims or de-lurking messages were well received by previous community members. According to the Burke AL group, to Burke AL, group-oriented membership claims are when new users introduce themselves to the online community by describing their undertakings and learning about the community. The, auth the authors provide the following example: I've been lurking around your discussion group for a few weeks now, just reading and trying to soak in some knowledge, I guess. Correlational studies in study sorry, correlational results in study one showed that messages with group oriented membership claims elevated community member responses by thirty eight percent, while experimental results in study two showed that placing group oriented membership claims into Usenet posts elevated community member responses by six percent. Some researchers have discovered positive links between social capital, cultural capital, and de lurking. Others have identified psychological approaches to overcoming the barriers of online participation. According to Raffaele Al, community virtual social capital is a collection of features of the social network created as a result of virtual community activities that lead to development of common social norms and rules that assist cooperation for mutual benefit. Through analyzing e-learning forums, Raffaele Al found a positive association between amounts of de-lurking and social capital. Soroka and Raffaele claim that virtual cultural capital is an extent to which a person has a reading-based knowledge about a virtual community's culture and other participants, thus having more in common with them. By analysing the Open University of Israel online forums and two IBM ReachOut online communities, Soroka and Raffaele found that as users' cultural capital of an online community increases, their amount of activity increases, and they have a higher likelihood of de-lurking. Soroka and Raffaele also found that irrespective of the amount of cultural capital, de-lurking becomes less likely as time passes. The, de the design and management of online communities can also affect de-lurking and participation. Resnick, Janey, Buis and Richardson introduced a community element to the online walking program called Stepping Up to Health and discussed various issues of beginning an online community, including transforming lurkers into active users. They discovered that posting contests, i.e. where users who made their first posts during a five-day period qualified to potentially win a prize, were a helpful mechanism to promote posting among lurkers. Similarly, Anton and Cheshire's uh, survey of lurkers suggests that reading behaviour in Wikipedia is a sort of participation which helps new users to learn about the online community and advance toward more comprehensive participation. While Rashid Ayal did not examine lurkers directly, they conducted an experimental study on movie lens that investigated how to raise low contribution rates in online communities. They discovered that participants showed a higher likelihood of rating movies when ratings were valuable to someone uh, a higher likelihood of rating movies when ratings were valuable to someone than when ratings were associated with the probability of having previously watched a movie. What does that even mean? Participants showed a higher likelihood of rating movies when ratings were valuable to someone than when ratings were associated with the probab probability of having previously watched a movie. I don't really get what that means. Furthermore, they found that participants showed an enhanced likelihood of rating movies when ratings were valuable to MovieLens subs subgroups than when ratings were valuable to the entire MovieLens online community. Ah, oh, okay, I get that. And participants demonstrated an enhanced likelihood of rating movies when ratings were valuable to individuals who liked similar movie genres as the participant than when ratings were valuable to individuals who liked dissimilar movie genres as the participant. These authors also found that participants demonstrated a reduced likelihood of rating movies when ratings were valuable to oneself rather than when ratings were valuable to someone else. Given these findings, Rashid Al claimed designers can use information about the beneficiaries of contributions to create subtle and integrated messages to increase motivation. 
Because of the nature of the lurker, they can be hard to study. They do not leave visible traces and it is often difficult to address them directly. To study lurkers, often internet communities such as email-based discussion lists, public forums and community building tools will be targeted so communication can be tracked more easily. Methods of studying lurkers include logging, questionnaires, interviews, observation, ethnography and content and discourse analysis. Logging is a good tool for studying the number of lurkers in a community. It is easy to compare the number of lurkers between communities. Researchers can also collect information on the number of messages, the size of messages, the message content, and message threading. Questionnaires, in contrast, are better for asking the why and how of lurkers. There is less likely to be a response, though, because of the nature of lurkers, and those that do respond may be a biased sample. Interviews are a good way to gain an understanding of the problem space. Interviews can also be used to answer the question of why and how lurkers lurk. The sampling must be done carefully, or there could be a response bias. Observation is a good way to understand the context within the community. This method can be very intrusive, though. If the observation is just on the community in general, then no information may be gained about the lurkers because they are not visible. By observing a lurker, the tools and methods by which they lurk can be understood. Ethnography is better for understanding a single community, but not multiple communities. It is again... It again is good for understanding the reasons and activities of lurking. Content and discourse analysis is a good tool to understand the interactions within a community. Since many lurkers do not publicly interact, this tool is better to use when understanding de-lurking.